HQ words or what, because it's going to be a tough one tonight. So it's probably best to tell all of those people at the restaurant right now that you'd love them to join you. Here's the 411. You're going to spin a wheel for a free letter or more if you have a super spin. I am going to show you a hint and a word puzzle for you to solve. Use the keyboard to guess the blank letters in any order. If you guess a wrong letter, that's a strike. If you use up all of those strikes, you are eliminated. For every level you pass, you gain a bonus strike. If you are really out to dinner, tell the server you'd like a dictionary with a side of a search engine. That should confuse them plenty, but my point is, it'll help you in this game. I gotta go participate in a spelling bee! best party on a Saturday night. This is HQ Words. I am your host, the Word Queen. It's me, Anna Roisman. You can find me here on social media. And since it's Smarter Day on HQ, tonight's game, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be a little punny, and it also has a secret classic Hollywood theme. Ooh, you like Hollywood, right? I like Hollywood. As you solve the puzzles, you may pick up on it. So pay attention. Tonight, I will show you 12 puzzles. If and when you make it through, you will win some of the prize, which is $1,000. Tonight, you will also be getting five strikes, plus whatever strikes you already have from leveling up on HQ. All right, it's time to spin that wheel around my face. Did you know that movie film reel actually looks like a wheel? It does, it looks like a wheel. They came in different sizes, and depending on the size, that would make up the minutes of the film. So most of the time they had split reels, which meant two or more of them, and when put together, you get a whole movie. That's a little movie fact for Smarter Day. A little trivia fact, huh? It's time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more points you can earn, and remember, tonight's game, it's gonna look a little different, so think outside the box. Take your time, but not too much time, okay? And may the fourth be with you, of course. Your first hint is celebrity cooking pan. Type in the letters F, K, and O. Three letters, I'm giving them to you. Not only does this make you picture classic Hollywood, but it's also the most well-known, successful way to make a little stir fry. Combine the two, you'd have a really nice meal. Maybe on Hollywood Boulevard? Because the answer is Walk of Fame. Ooh, a Walk of Fame, a famous walk making stir fry and stars in the sidewalk. 94,390 solved the puzzle, 16,000 eliminated off the bat. They must not have heard those letters. Hey, have you heard the word about tomorrow night? You didn't catch the news? Come on, you gotta catch it all. We're doing a Pokemon night on HQ. We've got trivia at nine, words at 9.30. There's so many funny Pokemon names, so know them all. Also, happy anniversary, Lee and Richie Royce. They're my parents. And a shout out to Shannon and the Ryans. Word up. All right, I was obsessed with Pokemon Go when it came out. Every day was a wandering trip. Ever do this? Where you just walk around place to place. You're wandering. Maybe it's on a trip to Italy. Ooh, that sounds fun. Maybe it's a special occasion. And that's why you have the, the time to wander around. D. Wandering Eight. trip. Holiday. Dang it, I didn't get the Y. And the answer is Roman Holiday. That sounds familiar, Roman Holiday. But ours is Roman like you're Roman around. Very similar. We're dropping a hint there. 39,305 got it right. 55,512. It looks like we've got our first schooled puzzle of the evening because you got schooled out of the puzzle. Oh, and we're sad to see you go on that school bus, but we move on. When someone texts you something hilarious, the laughing emoji, it's the best response. It's one of my favorites to use, mostly because it's, it's crying tears, which happens. Now think logically on this one, okay? When you're looking for a smile, you might look this up online. The laughing emoji. These are all our for movies. I think pun. 
because the answer is funny face. Fun E face. You get it? Funny face and a fun E electronic face. 38,845 got it right. 2,273 eliminated on puzzle three. This is a smarter day game. We knocked a lot of people out so far. Did you have a meal today that was also entertaining? Tell me this singing waitress answer because that's your hint singing waitress some people have their favorite spot to eat at with their favorite waitress all right and she brings you that meal you've been craving my favorite right. lady. is she doing that or is she, is she not doing is she doing very little at least she's singing right you got a singing waitress double the bonus you get a meal and you get a song and the answer is my fair lady oh it's my fair lady that looked like it, but we're talking about fair as in food. My fair lady, 33,200 even, got it right. You are my fair word, nerds. 5,664 eliminated, and we go on to puzzle five. So maybe that waitress served this person, okay? Maybe this was his order. He wants beers for the Twilight Zone host. Oh, after a long day of hosting the Twilight Zone, I imagine this host might want to kick back and relax with some beers. Maybe he doesn't have too much time to stay put, though, you know, because he's got to, oh, he's on the, he's got to make it to a wedding. He's on the go. Beers for the Twilight Zone host. And that's two for the rod. <laughs> that's a good one. Two for the rod. Rod Sterling, 29,368. We got some Twilight Zone fans who got that right. Two for the rod. Looks like two for the road, but it's not. All right, I don't know your personal biz, but if you ever get into an argument or a fight, it's best to have a truce with Beatty. You know, he's been around for a while. The fight, it's not worth it. Hopefully, you've come to an understanding, maybe by right? reading a giant book and everything is calm now. Truce with Beatty. And what do you know? Maybe that book turned into a movie. This is a punny one. Truce with Beatty. The answer is War and Peace. War and Beatty. We now have peace. War and Peace, that rings a bell. 22,582 got it right. 6,979 eliminated on War and Peace. Here's a peaceful moment in tonight's Smarter Day game. You are officially halfway through the ride. Ooh, you're catching on to the theme. Yes, some of you, maybe. Should we keep this grooving? Okay, but first, huh, we got to make a sudden shopping stop. We do. It's just, I saw something in the store window, and when that happens, you gotta make a stop. Right? We're gonna shop for so many things. Maybe we'll get hungry. We'll need a meal. That's okay. They have that here at this sudden shopping stop. Oh, good job. We are going to break fast at Tiffany's. Break fast! I see Tiffany's, I want to go buy diamonds and eat donuts. 14,206, you're coming with me. We're going to Tiffany's, 8,881 eliminated. All right, yes, I support donuts. And you know what? I support this guy. Tonight for Puzzle 8, I'm a Matt Damon advocate. He's talented, both as an actor, as a writer. Look, maybe you're skeptical about him, but this person is there to talk him up, okay? If you're hunting for an opinion, they're here to provide it. Maybe you'll find this person in Boston. Maybe. Matt Damon advocate. The answer is Goodwill Ambassador. Oh, Goodwill Ambassador. You remember his movie, Goodwill Hunting? This is a Goodwill Ambassador, though. Maybe of the nonprofit. 11,866 got it right. 3,386 eliminated. Okay, your next hint is something that might help those who are married. Look, I'm no counselor, but here are some appendages for newlyweds. Say what? Appendages for newlyweds. You might want to add to the schedule a British comedy to watch together. Add in some new body parts. Mm -hmm. Hey, I told you, I'm not a newlywed. I'm just giving advice. Maybe there's another couple you want to add in to your apartment. Add them into the mix. The answer.
answer is Young Wives' Tales. Ooh, it's a mystery story. It could either be Young Wives' Tales because they literally have tales or Young Wives' Tales like the stories that we're going to hear about. 5,878, got it right. 6,544, you got schooled again on Puzzle 9, but we are going to move on after her. Oh, here's a tale I'd like to tell someday. Okay, ready? Once upon a time, a word queen was the most wealthy and fashionable. And they dined at the fanciest of restaurants with fashionable, well-off, rich people. And they spoke in British accents because they're fancy. And it was because they were at the top of their game, just like you. The most wealthy and fashionable. And the answer is... Tony Award winner! Oh, Tony Award winner. That's a funny thing because Tony is actually an old-fashioned word for wealthy and fashionable. Tony Award winner. 6,408. Got it right. 911 eliminated. All right, remember what tomorrow night's game is? You remember. If you're planning on being there, you might say that it's your Pokemon Award goal. It's also the hint. This is something you can achieve when you get many Pokemon. Right? Every Pokemon hunter's goal happens here. No. You can do this. Pokemon award goal. He got to catch them all! Gotta catch them all. He got to catch them all. Could you imagine if you were the he got? of catching all the Pokemon, 5,609. He got it right. He got some of them. He got more. They're going to start calling it an E-Goth soon if we add an HQ to the end of it. All right, because you're already on your way to win one, baby. This is the final puzzle of Smarter Day Night. Okay, we started tonight with over 125,000 smart, smart bookworms. And here we are at the last one. If you've been taking note, this whole game, then this should be easy. What was this theme? Have you been paying attention? You've been playing, I'm watching you. It's this theme, you got this. All of these Happy have something in common, right? We have Roman holiday, you got to catch them all. Goodwill ambassador. What's the through line here? And the final answer, is happy birthday, Audrey Hepburn. This was a whole secret Audrey Hepburn puzzle, and we are celebrating her birthday tonight, along with 5,245 players who just won HQ Words on Smarter Day. You did it. Oh, it's a national holiday, right? It's Audrey's birthday, and it's your HQ Words win on a Saturday night. You're going home with 20 cents. Ooh, I love how 20 cents looks, right? It's like a nice even number. Sammy Cove coming in hot in first place. We've got Dornado, 83, in second place tonight. And La Rabbit Guy, welcome back. I've seen you this week. You're all going home with 20 cents. And that is the game for tonight. I want to congratulate all of the winners. Since we celebrated Audrey Hepburn's birthday, I want to point out a few other things that happened today. Happy 30th birthday to Adele. We love Adele. Tonight was also the first Grammy Awards in 1959. And Margaret Thatcher was the first female prime minister elected in the UK. Wow, I have been your host, Anna Roisman. You can follow me here on social media, all right? Gotta catch them all. I'm talking about friends. See you tomorrow night at 9.30 p.m. for Pokemon HQ Words. So until then, go have a wild Saturday night, and may the fourth be with you. Good night, word nerds. <laughs> Let's go!